This is a tutorial video on how to use a boom microphone. This is a boom mic. It consists of a boom pole, blimp and a microphone. First, we look at the blimp. The fluffy sock on it is called a dead cat. It stops the wind noise disturbing your recording, so make sure you use it when outdoors. Underneath the dead cat is the basket. It houses the microphone. Watch for a demonstration on how to take the basket apart. Now the basket has been taken apart, we can see the microphone. It is attached to a suspension system which stops the microphone from wobbling and creating handling noise. The circular part in which the microphone sits in is called a cradle. The little suspension arms are called liars. Be careful with the liars as they are very fragile and need to be lined up straight before using. The microphone that is being used is called Rode NTG4. The university also has a few others to choose from. There are several different fixings that can be undone to adjust the angle of the blimp. This is good for when you have to record sound from different angles. There is an XLR port in the bottom of the blimp handle. Right next to it is where you screw in the boom pole. Once you've got the boom pole, make sure to create a gap between each knuckle for at least one inch. When screwing the pole onto the blimp, twist the pole, not the blimp. If you need to extend the pole, start from the top for better weight distribution. Once the XLR cable has been plugged in, let it hang loose and then wrap it around the boom pole. This will make it easier to keep the cable in control and will eliminate any noise caused by the cable moving around. Hold the end of the pole with one hand and the top of the phone grip with the other. This will ensure you don't accidentally swing around the boom and hit something. It also means that the cable will stay in place at the end of the boom and won't make appearance when filming. You are now ready to use the boom pole microphone. Hope you enjoy this simple tutorial and thanks for watching.